What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a lot of, well, we got a lot of fertilizing to do today. That's what is going on. Look at all this stuff off in the background. Like you can't get up there, but oh, it just looks so cool. I love it. We're standing on top of our truck right now. Cause we can. Now we got some stuff to do today. Like I said, we've got some work to do. Last time you saw us, we were just preparing this field over here. This is the barley field. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here's the problem. Grass hadn't popped up yet. A little irritated about that. Gotta be completely honest with you. No grass yet. So we've got all of summer for it to grow and that's it. Also, the corn is growing, baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm excited about that. Well, here's what we've got for today. If we can dodge all these potholes. Tell you what, oh, it's not the way I wanted to go. Let's go this way. Yeah, yeah. Off roading, baby. <laughs> we, oh, crap. No, no, no. Dang it. It's bouncy everywhere. <sighs> We're safe. Okay. No, crap. Dang it. We need a new truck. We've got a weeder and a sprayer. Now the weeder, we're gonna take care of the smaller fields. And the sprayer, we're gonna use for bigger fields. Now the sprayer is a secret. Got a very special sprayer. Let's go and get this parked up here. So far, nobody's, well, nobody's really figured out that we have this car yet. <laughs> I mean, it matches everything we've got. We might as well keep it, right? Right, that's right. So let's jump in here, open it up. Yeah, buddy. We ended up going with the Steyr Multi 4115. Oh yeah, 115 horsepower. It's a good looking tractor, if I do say so myself, and I just did. I just did say that. We're gonna get in here. We're gonna get this unfolded. This thing just looks good when it unfolds. Uh, something about it. I love it. Let's get this down. Oh, wrong button. And then we should be able to roll across here. Yep. And we're giving ourselves, well, it's another fertilization state. However, I mean, it's technically not what we're doing. Technically what we're doing is we're rem removing the weeds but the game thinks that we're just rolling through doing our thing it's not wrong it's it's just weird so we've already got our uh, manure down we did our liquid fertilizer we put that down and now we're getting the weeds out this should handle our three fertilization states. And once we get this right here, we're gonna flip it. We're gonna turn on a worker and we're going to double check just to make sure that all of that information is correct. Right through here, that right there, and hire worker. Oh, don't turn my lights off. My lights were good. Let's jump in here and let's see fertilize. Yep. This is sticking us to the very last fertilization state. The third and final state. Yeah! So how's about this? How's about we take a little bazaar? I tell you what, I am a pretty big fan of this thing now. I wasn't before, I never really used it. But I don't know, I just kind of decided I was like, you know what? 
we're getting ready to head up on FS19. We've got to do weeding in FS19. What better place than on one of Alien Jim's maps? One of his most beautiful, perfect, I mean, just, I go on and on and on about this map. You want me to go on? I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Make me do it. <laughs> so let's get this thing put away. We got to get the sprayer out. You're probably saying, yep, oh, there it is. There you go, DJ. Nah, nah, that's not it. That ain't it at all. <laughs> we're going to get it out because we're going to need more than one. But that ain't it. This is not the sprayer. Though we do have one. There we go. So the sprayer that we got is a beast. It is the, what's well, the fastest sprayer in the game? It is one of the largest, if not the largest, sprayer in the game. It's not too old. It's one of the newer ones. Let's get this filled up. There we go. Perfect. Let's go and hop out of here. Let's cut the lights off. It's in here. Oh, baby. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's right there. Oh, man. Here we go. Ba -ba -da -da. Yeah, man. We've got the big brute from Welker Farms all filled up and ready to go. Oh, yeah. You want to hear the horn? That's <laughs> so annoying. But it's awesome. Pull this thing out of here. We've got some big fields to handle today. We've got this corn field that we've got. We've got our barley field. That's about it. <laughs> that, that is, yeah, that's it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start getting this guy ready right here. I, I got to figure out where I want to start it. I think, I think we're going to start it down here. Let's get this thing opened up. This bad boy. Oh. It does take forever to unfold, but look at it. Oh my gosh, it is huge, 33 meters. That's not 99 plus feet. And it runs at, uh, no, nine miles an hour. Let's get this thing backed up here. I am going to hire a worker to get a couple of these headlands done because they're gonna go in a straight line and I cannot do that. Look at that. That is some fast freaking spraying right there if I've ever seen it. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Actually, let's stop that real quick. We got to lower this thing. It is way too high. Let's get this down almost about there. I think that's perfect. There we go. Much, much better. Just right over the tops. Right over the tops. That's right where we want it, too. Yeah. What do you guys think about this thing? Great thing about it. Crop destruction, it's turned on. But this thing does not destroy your crops. Now, it wouldn't matter anyway, we're in the first state. But man, is this thing a beast or what? Drop down in the comment section, have you used this sprayer? It is available on console and PC, available everywhere. Sprayers are available. <laughs> Let me know, have you guys used this or not? Yeah, I know, there's still a big golden thing in the middle of the field. I when do you get lazy and not want to do something? I just... <laughs> I love the gold, man. I love the gold. Gold member hashtag. But it's just... I'm not... I'm not ready to get the gold. And it's disappeared. I'm not ready to get the gold quite yet. We'll get there. We will get there. Today just ain't that day. All right. Another thing is... This... The, the back... it The back doesn't turn. That's awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. The back doesn't turn. Ah, oh, crap. Wait. Hang on. What's going on here? Maybe we gotta get past there. There we go. Whatever was going on back there made this thing stop. We're moving on now. We're moving along. Let's go ahead and see what we can do about getting this field done. And, well, we're gonna get our headland done. And then so we can put it on a worker. As soon as we get this thing put on a worker, we're going to go grab our other sprayer. We're going to take it over to our barley field. Go ahead and hit over there. 
I wonder what's going to get done first. I wonder if this field's going to get done or the barley field's going to get done. Like I said, we're still going to get the headland done here. And we've still got to set this on a worker. And we have to take the bar... Eh, I think this one's going to be finished before the one on the barley field is. Drop down in the comment section what you think. Regardless, let's keep rocking. Let's keep making this thing work. Yeah! Now that this thing is on a worker, oh yeah, now we can go and we can get our other sprayer. And we are in it. In it to win it, baby. We are in it to win it. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this tractor for, but I know that it works pretty well for what we need it for. Now, I needed a small tractor that could get a few little odds and ends done around the farm. Around the farm. A little few odds and ends around the farm. And I needed to have narrow wheels. Because currently, the smallest thing that we have with Narrows is a Case Puma with 200 and some odd horsepower. <laughs> it's a little big. It's a little freaking big. This has 115 and it's still a little big for what it is. We could also get this with a 95 horsepower engine. But that was... Ooh, we are getting air with this thing. Let's go, baby! Yeah! Yeah! Now, this is this is a safe, a safe amount of fun. <laughs> oh, crap not safe there we go spin them around there spin them around that's good that's good I'll tell you what in comparison these things look just <laughs> the size comparison between a big bud and this little styre this little styre multi goodness gracious let's bring them around i ended up putting a little, little shed down here i may put another one that matches right beside it still contemplating that but maybe also with this one i have put down well i say put down i have removed down right here so that we can get in and out much easier i thought about doing the whole hedge but we don't need the whole hedge gone so i decided you know what if we don't need the whole thing gone what's the reasoning behind moving the whole thing so i just left it we left it just the way it is so what I'm doing here is we're going to hit a headland, one at the top, one at the bottom. That way, whenever we hire a worker and put this thing down, it can go. And we don't have to worry about this thing. The biggest thing I worry about is workers because they suck. Ugh. Yeah. Workers suck. You. Okay, you're a lady driver. You, you, you do okay. But the dude drivers? Come on. Really? Oh, crap. Wrong button. Nope. You didn't see anything. <laughs> All right, headland at the top, headland at the bottom. We're going to set these. We're going to babysit them. Let's see which one ends first. Well, I thought this thing was going to have a chance. I really, truly did. But it ain't. <laughs> Not a single bit. Nope, 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 nope. This sprayer is, well, it's almost done. <laughs> right up here, it's going to be finished. This has all this to go. We're going to let it do it because I'm not in a tremendous hurry for spraying. We got a couple more things to pick up at the store anyway. So we've got stuff to do. We, we have things that can take, take our time, as it were. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it to get its glory. Helper D, of course it's Helper D, has completed their task. As to where Helper L, which stands for loser, because it's Helper G, uh, they are still going. You didn't see that. Let's grab this, fold it up, and <laughs> take it back. It's done, man. It's over. Game over. Don't need this. No daggum more. At least for right now. We're, we're going to need it again tomorrow to, well, to spray that again. Because we need three fertilization states. Right now we got two. I think, how many fertilization states are on there? Wrong place. Oh, so that was four. What was the first? 
Hang on. So we did. Oh, yeah. Because I put fertilizer down with it. Just like with the grass. And with this. Actually, everything. And once I get that grass, everything will be at three fertilization states. Nice. Means I don't have to worry about fertilizing until we put other crops in the ground. Sweet. Let's back this in. Very good. Very good. Close it up. Close up shop. Cool. So a couple things. Uh, we picked up mowers and I picked up another harvester, which I think you kind of saw, but we'll get back to it. We need, well, we need stuff to do chaff and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in here, purchase, buy. Yes. Uh, that's going to be running with our large case. At least that's the plan anyway. Let me go through here. It's going to be running with... If we can ever find the darn thing. There we go. We're going to run that with the Magnum. We also need a picker-upper. So let's hit up miscellaneous. Let's get ourselves a snowblower. Let's put it in red. Actually, you know what? Let's get a black one. Black looks good. And working light. Perfect. Now all we have to do is come down here and... Let's see. Do we have a tractor down there? Uh, we do, but it's not tractor tractor it's something else maybe i'll show you what i got so we've got our our magnum right here well in front of us we've got a mower oh yeah we've gone for the big m baby well you think i was gonna get something else <laughs> he's wrong he's wrong that's exactly the one we get and of course we have our crone and we have the snowblower so let's grab this and this and let's get these taken back. These are all going to the cow farm. <laughs> We're running out of room at the cow farm, man. Uh, we might have to move some tractors back because we got a lot of tractors over there. And by a lot, I mean literally like almost every single one. We have the Puma. We have the Optum. We... <laughs> We have the 1455, we've got the, well, the Magnum here. What else? So quad track, <laughs> the front loader, or not the front loader, the telehandler, and another harvester. So literally everything, everything we've got, and the Crone, uh, <laughs> the Crone Forge Harvester. Literally everything! Dang. <laughs> so all that stuff's gonna have to be moved back because we got a lot going on. Oh yeah, is this the I believe I can fly thing? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta drop with my thumb. This is hilarious. Alright, let's get this folded back up. Bring it over here. Let's just park it to the side for now. Ooh, a little fast, a little fast. Slow down there. Slow down. Park this up here. Put the snowblower right beside it. That should be good for now. One. And step two right here. Tell you what, we might put another one of those sheds over here too. We're just running out of room, man. I tell you what. Drop that. There we go. And bring this back. Back this up just a little bit. And put it over here. And then we'll go back and get our other toy. And bring it over here as well. Here we are. We got our Chrome Big M500. I did go with the black wheels. I saw Miss Silly P had one with black wheels, and I thought it looked really, really good. So I bought one, and there it is. <laughs> We've also got the Case 7130. It's the one we start the game with, but I decided to go ahead and buy another one. And we got the 35 foot header with it. Yeah, baby. Now all we have to do is get some of this other stuff taken back. There's too much stuff over here right now. It's just too much. Uh, we need to get this back. Ripper can stay. Let's see, we got big planters here, don't we? Yeah. You know what? Those could probably stay too. I think we'll just take stuff back one at a time, one vehicle at a time. Uh, we're going to get over at least the Optum, the Puma, and the Magnum. Not in that order. I'm, well, I guess maybe in that order because we're in the Optum now. <laughs> we'll take all that over. 
Maybe we buy another Magnum and put it up. Well, we oh, we may not have the money for another Magnum. That money is going down quick. The money that I quote unquote allotted myself. Um, you know, once we get all this stuff taken over, we're going to need to make a little bit of money. And I want to make the money back on something that I think I may have made a mistake doing. That mistake was buying 500,000 liters of freaking poo. No, not poo. Pig food. Dang it. Screwed up again. <laughs> 500,000 liters of... I about said poo again. Pig food. Pig food. <laughs> Here we go. Let's put this away. I think I uh, just made the just made the executive decision to keep the Magnum over here. The Puma's got to go fit through. Nope. Oh well. Insurance. I need help. What do you need help, sir? I screwed up big time. All right. In here. And nope. Nope. N hey, you're done. Nice. Good job. Let's fold you up. Um, you're slow though, so I'm gonna wait. <laughs> Wonder what's in here. Oh yeah. And there it is. This is the last bit of bit of equipment we wanted to take back. You know what? We've got we've got two of those Rayboard Xylors, so let's just leave that one there. Is there anything we could take over with us? Ah, uh, no. All that's pretty much big stuff. Actually, no. There's a planter I want to take back. Crap. I want to take that smaller planter over because we've got a. No, we've kind of... No, uh, I don't know what to do. Yes, we'll take it back. We'll get another one. And we'll get a uh, we'll get another corn planter because we've got... Well, there's two sets of horse equipment. You've got your 9-meter um, stuff, which is in-game. And you have your 12-meter stuff, which is DLC. Well, it's not really DLC. It's... It's... There's, it's a horse pack. But you could say that it's a horse DLC because it has enough inf it has enough stuff in it to convince you that it is. I mean, let's be honest here. Out of the Coon DLC and the horse pack, I mean, they could have easily flip flopped that. I think um, I use the horse planters a whole lot, and not to mention it, but horse makes a lot of the same stuff Coon does. <coughs> Can we have more horse stuff? Except for the slurry thing. If you guys saw yesterday. Poo on the slurry. No magusta. No magusta. Very mucho. Which one do we have over here? Which corn planter did we have over here? I think... Oh, it's definitely the 12 meter. So we we'll want to take that and take that back eventually. But for now, those are cool right where they're at. There we go. So, DJ, what were you talking about? By getting some rid of some of this pig food. Well, we've got our semi truck over here. Oh, we got a cultivator there too. Nice. So we could just line this whole place up. We've got our truck here. Let's back up. And we have our trailer over there. I can easily manage getting rid of 70,000 liters of pig food. There's just so much of it over there. So why don't we do that? Oh yeah, by the way, if anybody noticed my ugly white tractor, or the track trailer right here, truck, yeah, I love this ugly white. I do not plan on washing it either, so. That's exactly how I feel. Let's get this over. I want to fill it up with pig food. Um, real quick, if you guys don't know where to go, let's say you've got a bunch of stuff over here. It says hit the air jump, yep. Let's say you've got a bunch of stuff over here, and you don't know where to go. To get it well it's pretty easy so this first building right here is the silo building good luck using this as a tipper to put stuff in however getting stuff out is pretty easy and Jim did a fantastic job making sure that was possible for us all we got to do is back up get over the marker select and we want to go with pig food however I will show you the things we have over here this is not total this is just what's in here 3,100 liters of wheat, 3,400 liters of barley, 2,300 liters of canola, 2,700 liters of sunflowers, 200 or er, yeah, 285 liters of soybeans, uh, 146 liters of corn, 351 liters of potatoes, 
285 liters of sugar beets, sugar cane, manure, TMR. We start with 8,000 liters of TMR. Chaff, wood chips. We have silage, 5,000 liters of silage, 8,200 liters of straw, <laughs> 500,000 liters of pig food, <laughs> 8,900 liters of grass, and 8,200 liters of hay. We have enough to get started with a few animals if you really wanted to. Pig food, there we go. So if you really, really, really wanted to do it, you could start in seasons with a couple pigs or a couple sheep or a couple cows. I mean, we've got the stuff to do cows. Plenty of it, actually. I wonder if we could do cows. <laughs> I wonder how many cows we would, uh, we would have to buy or sell to have enough to take care of those cows or pigs or sheep or whatever. It's a good question. Maybe as a little fact finding, we'll say, okay, we've got this much on the farm, this much of this, that, and the other. And how's about we see how many of each type of animal we could take care of. It's going to take a whole lot of moving. Um, is that something that you guys would be interested in? Drop down in the comment section and say, yes, I would love to see how, my, or how many animals I could take care of right off the bat, even if I was playing in seasons. Or say, no, that's a waste of time. I don't care. I'm just going to do what I'm going to do anyway. You can't tell me what to do, DJ. You're not my daddy. Either way. Either way. I'm cool with it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's let's hang a really wide left turn right here. Oh yeah, we kept our kept our speed right there. That's what I'm talking about. Excel point back there. Crap, crap. Oh, bad idea, bad idea. We're good. Nothing bad happened. No. That's how you can get back into the main farm. This is one of our fields right here that we own. And here we are. Let's take this in. Let's sell this pig food. See how much we could get. Uh, I imagine that we paid right over $70,000 for this amount of pig food right here. I wonder how much we're going to get for it. Back it up. Pig food is the very first one, if you guys didn't know. Back it up, back it up. Getting the dump signal. Money is going through the dad gum roof. Oh my gosh. Look at, look at, look at. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's a good look right there. That is a very good look. Let's get a, get a nice little shot of that. Oh yeah. 226,000 dollars for that load right there. Yeah, I would say that was worth it. Yeah, 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 yeah very very worth it anyway guys that is going to be it for today i hope you enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you're not already please subscribe if you guys have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comments section if you have anything you want to see let me know otherwise i hope you guys have a great day real quick make sure you have entered into my giveaway the giveaway for a farming simulator copy from simulator 19 copy uh, we will be giving away... I kind of want to sell some manure, too. Yeah, we'll do that later. Uh, I uh, We're going to be giving that away tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys. So if you're watching this, make sure you go find that video. It came out about seven hours ago. Find that video. Get in there. Get entered to win a copy of Farming Simulator 19. Okay. I'm done. It's free. Why would you not? All right, guys, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.